Prime Minister Andrew Honus continues to defend his administration's decision to take over Venezuela's 49% stake in Petrojam. The opposition has since called the government's plan hostile, considering the country's ties with Venezuela. But according to Mr. Honus, people are failing to understand that Petrojam could become a debt problem for the country. TVJ's Kalisha Williams explains. An announcement on Tuesday by Foreign Affairs Minister Kamina Johnson-Smith that the government is planning to make legislative changes to forcefully take over the 49% stake in Petrojam now held by Venezuela. The opposition responded, saying the government's decision is a hostile takeover, which is unnecessary and unwarranted. But on Wednesday... Prime Minister Andrew Holness indicated that the previous government should be blamed for putting Petrojam in a difficult position in the first place. Mr. Holness said as it is now, Petrojam could become a debt burden to the country, especially with it set to lose its biggest customer, JPS, when the switch is made from heavy fuel oil, HFO, to liquefied natural gas, LNG. When we took the decision, we should have also considered the other impacts of that decision, which means that Petrojam could lose or will lose 50 percent of its custom. Which is why Mr. Holness believes the decision to compulsory acquire Venezuela's stake in Petrojam was made with the sole purpose of protecting the interests of the Jamaican people. I am not running a government that is under sea, not knowing what is coming in the future, as we have had governments do in the past. And then we happen upon situations and those who are being critical of the government now should explain why it is we are happening up on situations that are creating fiscal risks for the government. Mr. Holness was addressing stakeholders in the BPO sector at a function in Montego Bay, St. James on Wednesday. Kalisha Williams, TVJ News.